Hey guys, I just got back from the thrift shop. I stopped in real quick, and of course, I spent a little bit more time in there than I was hoping to, but I got some really good stuff, so let me show you what I got. Uh, first off, just to start things off right, I got this for six bucks. It's Sequence, an exciting game of strategy. It's brand new, sealed, and I paid six, and it's worth at least 45 so it's a great find and uh, that made the stop worthwhile right there. Uh, next thing I got that's really awesome is this, I'm not entirely sure what to call it, I mean I guess it's like a folk art uh, carved wooden thing, it's like a sculpture of some sort, but it's very interesting and it's, you know, it feels like it's driftwood or something, it's very light and it's got a very interesting texture to it. It's almost like, um, been polished or something. It's very, it's really interesting. So, I paid eight dollars for it. I have no idea how much it's worth. I'm probably going to keep it just because it looks really cool. But you know, there's so many people out there that love cats, and um, you know that's one of those things you could you could probably do pretty well on. Here's a quick tip. Um, you know, one of the best ways that I found for me to learn basically anything is by buying it in a large lot. Like, let's say, um, say like uh, Matchbox cars or uh, Hot Wheel toys, you know, anything like that. Things you can get in lots, and then you break it down and you see what everything's worth. Like, who knows what's in here, you know, it's like uh, probably some semi-precious stones in there. I'm not entirely even sure, so i got to take a closer look. I only paid six bucks, but... It could be worth a whole ton. I don't know. I think it's probably worth more than six bucks. So, again, you know, if you ever want to take a chance on something, you know, you're always better off buying it if it's in a bulk lot like this because you're bound to hit something good, and even if you don't, you learn a lot about a whole lot of stuff really cheap. Next thing I found, and this is another tip. I think I've told it to you in the past, but, um, you know, if you see something that's made out of, like, brass or copper and it's a, it's pretty close to what the item is worth in its melt value you gotta snatch that up even if it's close cause I mean I paid five bucks for this this thing is solid copper or I would guess it looks like it's solid copper and again it was only five dollars but apparently this is this has some sort of historical significance it's got like some buildings on here and it's really just an interesting texture says Masada, so I gotta do some investigating. But for five bucks, that's a, that's a gamble I'm willing to take. I just got these two bags as well. Uh, this one was tucked underneath some stuff, so you know, I, I don't know if you've ever had that before where you go to a Goodwill or something, or more often than not, it happens at like a thrift shop type place, like a local community thrift shop. People will hide stuff, and it's like, you know, what the hell is that doing under there? Because, well, somebody they wanted it, but they didn't they weren't able to, they weren't sure if they wanted it at the time, so they kind of hide it, or they, you know, they wait till it gets to half by hiding it. Uh, just all kind of shenanigans like that. But, uh, yeah, I got this coach bag. It was only 20 bucks. It just came out recently. I think that's a great deal. It's excellent condition. One thing you want to look for, obviously, is the uh, coach stuff right here with the serial number. They don't all have a serial number, though. Some of the older ones in particular are I think. Um, this one is 0730940. For these bags, you just want to make sure that they're in nice condition, you know, no uh, ripped or torn parts. Um, this is in great shape. Only thing it's got against it is it's a white-ish, like beige color. It's not black. The black ones are more desirable because they are, you know, stains won't affect them as much. Um, you know, they don't get dirty as much, or it doesn't appear to. So, that's just something to consider. But, I think I should be able to get maybe 80 out of this bag. It's, uh, it's vintage, and it's, uh, a pretty big bag. So, yeah, it's a good score for 20. This other one I have is, uh, Desmo, made in Italy. It's in great condition. Um, just the bottom has a little bit of wear, but, you know, it's all leather inside now. And um, Desmo, I'm not too sure about it, but any bag you can get that's 100% leather made in Italy, you're doing pretty good.